Okay, one, two, testing. Check, check, check. Where's my master? Ian? Two, two. Okay, I'm not sure if this is coming through. Um, if it is, just forgive me while I get myself set up here. Be underway in one second. Hi Valerie, Lynn, hi, welcome. Hi Barbara, hi Winona. You just have to bear with me. This is a, uh, a test stream that I'm doing. And um, whoop, here we are, yeah, test stream. And um, still trying to work everything out. So just bear with me. And then as soon as I get the technology working, we will be good to go. And uh, Thank you all for joining me on YouTube. I appreciate that. I just need to get my Facebook up and running. It should be happening any moment soon. So just bear with me, folks. Appreciate you all joining me. Um, if you can hear me okay, just type in a, uh, a yes if you can hear me okay. Thank you, Valerie. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, just leave a yes in the comments there uh, just to let me know that the audio is coming through. So if you caught my live stream yesterday, I was explaining how this is all new technology that I'm setting up for a multi-stream camera shoot and so on. So today I'm going to test actually doing a bit of painting uh, and how I can switch between cameras and so on. So I do need uh, some feedback from you guys because once, we, once I get it all figured out and set up, then we can start doing this on a regular basis. Um, so yeah, just let me know in the chat if the audio is coming through. Thank you. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, Nathan. Um, so just bear with me, guys. Stand by for a moment or two. Unfortunately, I'm not the technology whiz <laughs> that some people think I am. So everything's a challenge. <laughs> and uh, Facebook doesn't want to play. <laughs> well, maybe that's got it. Because my, my objective here, oh, here we go, now we're working. My objective is to be able to um, live stream out to multiple platforms at once so we can reach out to a bigger audience. Um, so that what I've been doing is investing in the technology to enable me to do that. But of course, that requires me to uh, be able to set it all up and work it all. <laughs> work it all while I'm painting. And so that's what I'm testing today. So I'm going to do a bit of painting. 
uh, but it will be interspersed with me, you know, checking settings and things like that. So uh, I do appreciate you being a part of that. And um, of course, the more that you are a part of that and more feedback you give me, the better we can, uh, you know, that we can start to do live streams on a more regular and consistent basis, which is what my goal is. So, ta-da, there we are. So, welcome. Um, thank you all very much for joining me. I'm glad that you're all here. And if I'm looking down, it's because I've got monitors in front of me. I want to I want to make this interactive. I want to talk to you guys as we go. And um, so I'm going to look down and read your comments. So thank you everyone for joining me on YouTube and your feedback, Winona, Valerie, Richard, Lynn, Nathan. Thank you all. Eva, um, I'm glad you found our channel as well, Eva. And it's only going to get better from here. You know, I've spent the last five years just bit by bit getting better and better at, it, at the way we teach and at the way we paint and all of that sort of good stuff. And, um, you know, it's only going to get better from here as, as we progress and now moving into live streaming uh, and doing it. I was doing live streaming a year ago. Um, and for those of you who caught my live stream yesterday, um, I'll just recap for those who are catching up. Um, a year ago, I was doing live stream and it was basically being done on my mobile phone on a tripod. And that was good. I really enjoyed the interaction. But the problem with that is for me to be able to interact with you and talk to you, uh, I have to have it zoomed out, but then you can't see the screen. But if I zoom in on the screen, then I can't interact with you, so it kind of defeats the purpose. And um, so I've been investing heavily in... G'day, Ian. Thanks for joining us, mate. Um, and Nelly, thanks for joining us. Randy, so all you guys on Facebook are now starting to come in, so that's good. So at the moment, we're streaming to Facebook, uh, to YouTube, to Twitch, and to Periscope, and I'm going to add a whole lot of other platforms um, over the next week as I test... Um, but yeah, so the mobile phone, it was frustrating me. So I've, I've, over the last six months, I've been learning everything I can about live streaming and um, investing in the technology and the equipment to get it all set up. And uh, today, um, yesterday I was just playing around. So thanks for joining me yesterday. Today, I'm really only going to, I'll do a little bit of painting. Uh, and what I really am looking for is your feedback. Um, you know, as to whether everything's working, whether you can hear me okay, whether the camera quality is okay. And, and one of the challenges is, I mean, there's artists on YouTube who they have a partner who tweaks all the dials and presses all the buttons, right, to make the production happen. And I don't have that. So I've got a control panel here, which I'm going to use. And what I want to try and explore is, can I effectively paint talk to you and control a broadcast or do I need to employ somebody to come in and help us out with the broadcast? So, um, so that's what we're doing today. So I will do a little bit of painting, but it's primarily by way of uh, testing out the setup, make sure it all works. And I want your feedback, so please use the comments um, and I'll be able to switch between, at this stage, at least Facebook and YouTube. Um, Thanks very much, Ian, for the feedback. Appreciate that. And I know you've been experimenting with the same sort of live setup and stuff, Ian, and uh, it's not an easy thing to put together. But, you know, we, we will get there in the pursuit of our art. And um, just checking on YouTube. Excellent. Okay, so comments are coming through. Uh, if you're on Twitch or Periscope, I haven't quite got to the point of getting comments working there yet, but bear with us and we will get that soon. So important part of painting coffee right <laughs> so um, and for those of you who are new to us on the screen there you'll see www.learntopaint.info we give away a free painting course um, and in that painting course it gives an introduction to the learn to paint academy and the more method of painting which is what we teach at more art school or which is now actually it's no longer more art schools become learn to paint academy so you can write that address down and um, you can uh, register for the free painting course. I'll go into a fair bit of detail there for you. So there's the address one more time, www.learntopaint.info. And let me just test our camera. So that's our zoomed in camera. And that's our palette cam. As I, I explained yesterday to those who were on the, uh, on the call yesterday that I'm not entirely happy with the palette cam at this stage and I need to work on the quality of that. So that's going to be a stage two kind of development. And that's our multicam, although we're not doing that painting, so I need to get rid of that, but that's okay. Um, so, let me just walk you through what we're going to be using. G'day Marjorie, thanks for joining us. 
Hope you're well. Janelle, thank you for joining us. And Greg and Robert, thank you. Chris Lennon, thank you guys. Appreciate that. Um, so this is what we're going to be doing here today. We are going to be painting on uh, a little canvas here. It's a stretch canvas that I've got on my backboard. Actually, I'm not showing you that, am I? This is the thing I've got to sort of work out, is getting it all in sync. So this is a stretch canvas, comes on a canvas roll. I've just taped it to my backboard. And from memory, I think it's um, about a 12 by 18, maybe, or maybe it's a 10 by 14, something like that. So it's more of a landscape, you know, classic landscape sort of shape there. And what we're going to be doing is, uh, thank you, Janelle, appreciate that. Um, what we're going to be doing is acrylic, and I'm just going to do a little simple sort of semi-abstract landscape scene here. We're going to be using the Artilia Interactive paints. Um, so if you haven't got onto the Artilia Interactives yet, highly recommend them. Um, primarily because they can be rehydrated with water. Um, just got to work out that glare there, don't I, when I hold things up. They can be rehydrated with water and they're a great acrylic paint. They're nice and viscous, so that's primarily what I teach in. If you've seen our Learn to Paint TV show, you'll know that you know pretty much every episode so far, except for a couple, has been with these paints. So my basic palette, French Ultramarine Blue, Permanent Alizarin Crimson, okay, which is our um, cool transparent red and our yellow ochre. So that's my basic palette, three primary colours. Okay? And I'm a great believer in keeping your palette really simple, use your three primary colours, and learn how to mix paint. So um, you know, if you can learn how to mix paint with just your blue, your yellow, and your red, then you are a lot further down the track than somebody who goes and has to buy every shade or every mix that they want. So that's what I start out with, and then I have my titanium white. Okay. So that's my sort of basic setup. I do 80% of my painting right there with those th three colors plus white. And then as a booster color, I, I often add cadmium red, okay? I like it, creates a nice dark when you mix it with the ultramarine blue. And cadmium yellow light. Now I get questions from people um, asking me, should I use cadmium yellow light or cadmium yellow medium? And my attitude is that if you get the light, you can darken it. Um, if you get the medium or cadmium yellow dark, um, then you can't, it's hard to lighten it. So um, I always get the, you know, cadmium yellow light, uh, generally speaking. And uh, Winona is saying she loves the Artillia Interactive as well. Barbara's asking me where I'm located. I'm in Queensland, Barbara. Um, Queensland, Australia. But mostly online. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so thank you very much for your comments and feedback so far. Much appreciated. And uh, the brushes I use. If you've seen our show or done any of our courses, you know that I buy pretty much cheap brushes, hog hair bristle brushes. The way that I paint in acrylics is very similar to uh, the way that I paint with oil paints. Um, so I use the same sort of brushes. Okay, So I very rarely use synthetic brushes. Um, for my acrylic painting. So I, I just you know, have a couple of biggies, two or three usually, medium sized one, okay, like that one there, and usually a selection of small ones. And then you know, right at the end, I'll add a little rigger brush like that one um, towards the end. Just noticing that camera is sort of uh, a little bit jerky, but that's okay. That is okay, so I'll just pop those there. So, Squeeze out some paint. Who loves, hands up if you love squeezing out paint. Uh, I think it's one of the most awesome things you can do in life. Squeeze out paint and I feel very fortunate that I uh, um, get to be a full-time artist, an art teacher, and get to squeeze out a lot of paint. <laughs> okay, so a bit of blue, bit of alizarin crimson. Now. Part of the reason why I wanted to set up this live stream setup was because if, you know I've had my palette up on the backboard for way too long and it makes it challenging to paint with, but that was the only way I could sort of film it um, was to do it that way. Uh, so now that I've got multiple cameras set up, um, I'm, you know, I'm happy about that. So I usually lay out my primary colours 
Ian, I reckon we'll probably go for about 20 more minutes, let's say, because what I'm really doing is just wanting to test it out um, before we really get into, uh, you know, doing more serious live streams and so on. Um, so, yeah, probably about 20, 30 minutes. I'm just going to do a quick little scene here. And I'll add some CAD red and some CAD yellow light. So where is everybody in the world located? And is this a good time for doing live streams? Because um, I am going to... Ah, how interesting. I've actually live streamed to my homepage, I think, my personal profile. Um, that's interesting. I was meant, meant to be live streaming to my Learn to Paint TV uh, page, but that's okay. I wonder why it was all different faces than normal on my Facebook. Okay, some titanium white. What I might do, if you can just bear with me for one second, is I will share this to... So we've got people in Washington. It is coffee. Absolutely it is. <laughs> it's uh, morning here. Too much morning, not enough coffee. Um, so yes, coffee is an artist's best friend. And uh, so we've got people in Washington, Philadelphia, Indiana, Michigan, good time for the US, Oklahoma, Florida. Fantastic. Um, welcome everyone. And uh, I know that if we get this on to, if we get this on to our Facebook page, then we'll get a whole lot of other people join us as well. G'day Texas, love Texas. Austin, Texas is one of my favourite places to go visit. So welcome. And uh, hey Miriam, thanks for joining us. I hope you're sticking to the plan, Miriam. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to play around with the painting here, really. Um, I'm not going to try and do a finished painting, but I have a bucket of water. Get our ultramarine blue. So I'll just show you what I'm mixing here. Um, I always start off with a dark, so ultramarine blue and the alizarin crimson. You're probably familiar with that if you've been watching our shows in the past. And so what I was thinking is I'm just going to run a little hill down there like so. And I'm just going to put a row of trees. So just a really simple little landscape is what I'm going to do here today. Um, and put a little row of trees down the hill. And I might put maybe a little mountain range out through the back there. Maybe a couple of mountains. So it's going to be a real quick, simple little painting, and then we'll pop another little uh, tree there. Maybe we'll pop a bigger one there. Just so that they're not all the same size, get a bit of variety in there. So something like that. So that's my basic little drawing, and no reference material for this. I, um, you're working hard, good to hear. Um, Good to hear, Miriam. Um, yeah, there's no reference. I'm just making this up. But what I will do on the live streams is I will use reference material and we'll explore different uh, styles and so on. And uh, tell me if I'm blocking this close-up shot too much. Um, I just want to make sure I don't walk into the shot too much there. And... Uh, Okay, that's interesting. All right, so take my big brush, that one there, big hog hair bristle brush, and come down to the palette here. Now, I don't use any real medium apart from water with, uh, with the acrylic paint. I know there's lots of different mediums you can buy. In fact, I've, I've got a ton of different mediums, um, but I hardly ever use them. Uh, I know that you can buy retarders and all sorts of things. I know a lot of other artists use them. Actually, the one thing I do like is this liquefying medium. That's not a bad thing just to get your blocking done. Uh, but I don't tend to use I just like water and 
my squirty bottle. It's a bit cooler here today, which is, oh, thank goodness for that, hey? It's been stonking hot. Okay. So I'm just going to do this as sort of like a backlit sort of scene. Um, huh. This is why I'm testing, because <laughs> I was busy painting away there. Uh, didn't put it onto this camera. So I just got to get a feel for knowing when we're going to uh, be swapping cameras. Not an easy thing to pull off on your own. Um, managing the control panel and everything, but that's okay. That's okay. It's all a learning experience. Eva doesn't know if she can, can't do without burnt umber. Um, I used to use burnt umber, burnt sienna, etc. And uh, I kind of gave up the habit. <laughs> now I just like to keep my palette really simple. And I find that, you know, you can pretty much get to most colours or thereabouts with just a little bit of basic colour mixing. I think, you know, for beginners, and that's who I teach is beginners, so if you're an advanced artist, this is probably not going to suit you, but um, for beginners, if you're just starting out, the, one of the most important skills you can learn is colour mixing and colour matching and so on. I think it's a fundamental skill. Uh, difficult to learn that when you've got 35 um, different colours on your palette because you just go naturally to the tone or colour that you're looking for. So you never quite develop that ability about a mix, which I think is a shame. Um, I think if you can learn to mix paint, get that as a fundamental skill, then you are going to be better off. Okay, back to the palette here. I'm going to mix up a colour for those background mountains. So as I said, this is just going to be a real quick little demo painting. It's more about me understanding how to uh, how to work with the technology here today. Okay, I'm just popping a little bit of a hill there. And when I sort of get fully up and running with the live stream, hopefully I'll do another test in a couple of days while I play around with the gear. Hopefully we will um, be up and running uh, in time for next week and we'll really get into it from there and uh, I'll be doing it both in acrylics and water mixable oils so um, we'll do a combination of both the way I use acrylics quite similar to water mixable oils anyway um, I, I just because I started out as an oil painter I've always used a similar sort of approach Feel free to ask me questions, guys, because as I said, I want to make this interactive. I want to hear from you. I want to learn, learn more about you and uh, your experience in painting and what you're looking for from your painting. Cheers for that feedback, Ian.
Okay, one, two, check. So that's the sound back. That's good. And uh, okay. All right, so sound is back. Not sure whether you're seeing me on Facebook and YouTube. There you are, okay, I'm back, good. Good, good. And hopefully, well, I think everyone's dropped out of uh, YouTube, uh, sorry, out of Facebook, but that's okay. So, technical difficulties. We'll have to explore how to avoid those for future streams. Uh, cameras are still working and um, what I will do is I will just go to the main cropped in camera and we will just continue but I won't be able to show you my palette so I do apologize for that and I'll have to then work out why it dropped out it's possible that my computer overheated and uh, I need to get a beefier computer so it looks like we've lost Facebook um, but looks like feedback echo. Okay, what I'll do is I'll just do a little bit more work on this, and then we'll wrap it up because uh, I'll go back to the drawing board and figure out what happened there. What happened? So what I'll do is just put in a bit of a warmer foreground. Well, we almost got there, folks. We almost got a setup where we can do multiple camera um, streaming and so on. <laughs> yes, the joy is alive, exactly. Um, I'm getting close, though, and I think part of the problem is I need to get a beefier computer and uh, upgrade a few things. So I will work on that, but I will continue to try and do a few more test streams over the next uh, week or so. Um, so, yeah, it is cool, Valerie, I agree. Uh, I think that's all about having a working process, you know, where you know what your st steps you're moving through and you understand how to put a painting together. Once you get that sort of basic knowledge, painting becomes really exciting. Okay, so I'm just going to put in a bit of a sun effect into the sky here. Unfortunately, I'm, I can't switch between cameras at the moment, so we're just going to be stuck on this one. I need to reboot the system to be able to do that, but at least you can see what I'm painting. But what, what I'm mixing up here is just titanium white, um, ultra, uh, titanium white, yellow ochre, and just a pinhead of the alizarin crimson and popping that in a bit of sun in the sky there. I don't know what that was. No idea. Okay, doesn't matter. Something falling over out in the house. So along these edges here, keep them nice and soft. You can see I'm getting a little bit dirty in my colour there. Give the brush a bit of a swish. Okay. Like so, and then I'll get into a bit of a blue sky. Yeah, Ian, I, I see your comment there about having a second person. Um, I do think I can get it working without a second person um, because 
I think it was more of a hardware failure with my computer that caused the issue just now. I need to get a beefier computer. And um, once I've got it set up properly, it's really just a matter of pressing, switching between four or five different buttons. And I think it's a matter of getting into the habit of every time I go to the pallet that I switch it over. So I th I'm confident we'll get that part of it working. It's the technology, the hardware side of it that's I need to upgrade the computer and a couple of the cameras and so on um, and get a proper TV switcher between the cameras. All that costs money, of course. So those people who join us as a life member of the Learn to Paint Academy, um, thank you very much. Uh, the best deal at the Learn to Paint Academy is to become a life member because you get access to 20 plus courses and over 100 painting projects and um, and you save you know, a heap of money on them. Um, but all the money that I get from people joining as a life member goes into investing into the equipment to bring you better quality productions. So thank you to those who have joined us as a life member. Much appreciated. Okay, so a little bit of sunlight in that sky. And at this point, what I'd normally do is um, take a break. So if you have watched any of our videos before, after I've got my block in done like that, uh, I would normally pause and allow that block in just to dry off just a little bit. Um, I don't like using hair dryers, I know some do, but uh, I think it flattens out the colour too much. Um, so, you know, normally what, I'd, what I had planned is this would be a great time for us to interact and chat and I could answer any questions you have and so on. Um, so I'd do that now and that way this would be dried off within 10 or 15 minutes and then we can come in and do the highlights and that type of thing. Um, but given that the system has crashed, I think what we'll do is just maybe wrap it up there. So let me just cut back to here. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up. Give me two secs. I want to thank you all very much for having uh, joined in today. There we go. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for joining and uh, watching. Apologies for the issues. Um, so yeah, normally in a live, what I plan to do is we'll get to this point with the block in, and then I can stop, have a pause for a, you know ten minutes, answer your questions, and tell you about other things that we're doing. And then by the time we've done all that, I can then come back and then do step three of the more method, which is getting our highlights and uh, details and finishing touches in. So what I might do is leave this one, I'll play around with the settings, come back in a few days' time, and um, we'll have another go, but then I'll do step three. We'll then finish this painting off as part of that. So um, that should be fun. So thank you for joining us. I apologise for the issues, but as I said, it's a test. We're, we're just testing to see if we can get it all to work okay. And uh, obviously we've still work to do. <laughs> That's all good. Um, if you're brand new to us, go and check out www.learntopaint.info and register for the free course. And um, that course goes into, it's part of the Learn to Paint Academy. We give away a free course where I explain to you in more detail the more method of painting, um, the three steps that we've gone through, why I only use three colours and three brushes. And um, it's a method that I've taught to 25,000 students around the world now. Um, so go and register for that if you haven't done. And uh, the address there is coming up now, www.learntopaint.info. And check it out. And there's, I think there's three different painting demonstrations in there. Um, I'm about to put an ebook into that free course and a whole lot of other good stuff in there. And uh, there's you know, hundreds and hundreds of people joining us each week. So um, go and check it out and, and take our free course. And uh, just as we're wrapping up here, I'll just... Thank you all very much. Um, Winona, like the Q&A? Yeah, I do too. I, I like the opportunity to be able to chat with you guys and um, hear from you. I want to hear your feedback and what you like, what sort of subjects you want to see more of or less of, um, all that type of thing. So I uh, appreciate you being involved. Thanks, Valerie. Um, Ian, thanks for joining us and everyone else. Apologies again for the challenges. And... Uh, Everyone who joined us on Facebook, thank you. Sorry that it dropped out. <laughs> but it's a learning experience and um, we can only get better from here, which we will. 
And eventually, what I want to do is be able to broadcast out to multiple platforms around the world and really get the message out there about, you know, people just having fun painting. You know, we're not here to teach you to be a master artist or anything like that. It's all about having a bit of fun, pushing a bit of paint around and uh, just enjoying it, right? So that's what we're working towards. But I do want to do a quality broadcast for you so that you get to see close-ups and different angles and things like that. It's all going to be good. Talk to you all soon. Thank you for joining me. And uh, you have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.